Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my December wrap up. I set a really high standard for me to read um, and I didn't wait that much. Let me just show you actually. This is my TBR for the month. I read two books. I am a little bit disappointed in myself, but at the same time, I'm letting it slide slightly just because I have been pretty busy. But still, I wanted to share the books that I have read with you guys and just give you my thoughts on them because it's just what I do. So the first book that I read is actually Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. I reread this this month. I had so many thoughts as I was rereading this. W one thing that I really, really love about rereading Harry Potter is that with each reread, you pick up on different things. So for this one, one of the things that I really was just thinking about very consciously as it was going on is just like Crumb and Fleur and how they are very, very underrated characters in Harry Potter, particularly Fleur. And even I have to admit that I was very guilty of this, but I found Fleur to be very, very annoying the first couple times that I read this book and then the next books in the series. She's kind of annoying. You think that she's just like this kind of stuck up person. I don't hear enough good things about Fleur and actually I don't hear things in general about Fleur and she is such a cool character and yes she may be slightly... Okay she is a bit of what I criticized her for, but at the same time, she's a freaking champion. And everything that she did for the Order, everything that she did after Bill was attacked, and just, just generally, she is such an awesome character, and I just, I want to, like, just analyze her, and I want to, like, shout out to everybody how cool of a character she is because I just I just fell in love with her in the series and Crumb also by the way I feel like Crumb was just kind of pushed aside he is so underrated especially because a lot of people just generally think that he is like just this like gorilla who is just into sports and doesn't really do anything else but there's so much more to him like he's very intelligent he's very resourceful he's a freaking like Quidditch star while still in school like there's a lot about crumb that needs to be acknowledged and loved as well but anyway okay that that that's it for my mini analysis i guess but yeah i just i rewrote it i loved it of course i did it's harry potter so yay and then the next book that i read was sweet evil by wendy higgins this book uh, I liked it. I liked it enough. It wasn't the best book that I've ever read. I feel like if I had read this when I was in high school, I might have enjoyed it a lot more because I did actually consider actually not even finishing this at a certain point. However, kind of like towards the middle, but like to the end, it, I found that it really found its footing and the writing didn't come off as juvenile slightly is juvenile the right word though i'm conflicted about this one slightly because i did enjoy it and i thought it was good and i like where the story is going but at the same time it's one of those books where like i feel like there was a lot happening but at the same time it just wasn't set in the story structure that i'm used to where it's kind of like you have rising action a huge climax and then you kind of fizzle out and then you know kind of give hints about what's going on in the next book. I feel like for this, there was just a lot happening, but there was never like a big climax point in the story. Um, so I feel like this was a pretty long book that had just a lot of setup for the rest of the series, which again, like I'm very interested in the mythology and in like what's going to happen, but it's not like on my priorities list. Oh, and by the way, I didn't even tell you guys what this book is about. The main girl in this series is the daughter of a demon and a guardian angel. Um, and her dad, oh, by the way, I also really loved her dad. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you guys, okay. So her dad is one of the big, big demons that controls people's 
addictions, I think it was. He basically influences people. So these gods have different influences and her dad is influences people to like drink and do drugs. And her mom is obviously the guardian angel. So she kind of has to come to terms with the fact that she has power. She can see people's auras and read what they're thinking. She can influence people. And she kind of goes on this journey to figure out what she is and what her role in this bigger world that she discovered is. It's kind of like that typical story. I did really enjoy the father-daughter dynamic. However, again, I do feel like it was it was very rushed. I feel like maybe I should have just done a review on this because I have a lot of thoughts. Um, but anyway, it was good, it was enjoyable. Again, not a favorite. And then for the two books that I'm currently reading, I'm currently reading Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. I don't know why I'm saying it like that, but I'm reading Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. I'm actually listening to it on audiobook um, for parts of it because I just, I, again, like I said, I just haven't had time to actually sit down and read. And as much as I love this book also, um, I'm kind of putting it off a little bit because the ending still completely obliterates me and I'm just, I'm too busy to be crying right now. The next book is my true love gave to me, a collection of 12 holiday stories by Stephanie Perkins or edited by Stephanie Perkins and by a whole bunch of authors. I have currently only read one story in this which is Midnight's by Rainbow Rowell. It was really sweet and romantic and adorable but again it was by Rainbow Rowell so what do you expect. So I really really liked it. I also really like the story structure of it because it's set kind of like through I think it's like three different years. Setting it up this way really gave you like the history of these two people so the romance in it didn't feel rushed and it didn't feel like love at first sight -y. You know what I mean? So I really like that but yeah I haven't gotten very far into either of these to be honest because I just I haven't really been reading. So other than that I think that is going to be it for this video. Please let me know what your thoughts on any of the books that I mentioned are down below and that is it. I will see you guys next time with another video. Bye! I was actually tagged to do the Tis the Season book tag